let's do a quick review on how the wing works. This is a wing, and here's how the wing works as a quick reminder. You have the leading edge, you have the trailing edge. If you draw a line from the leading edge to the trailing edge, that's called the cord. The angle of the cord here to the direction or airflow of the air is the angle of attack. Notice this airplane, as it sits on the ground, would have a positive angle of attack of a few degrees. So this airplane would create lift in this direction. Now, as you're flying along, the airflow hits the wing. And some air has to travel a little further over the top because of the angle of attack of the wing. So you get a bunch of air moving over the top and a bunch of air moving over the bottom. Now the air has to travel further over the top and it's gonna go faster and reach the back of the wing before the airflow on the bottom. And here's why. Bernoulli's principle. As air moves faster, it creates low pressure at right angles to the flow. And as it moves over the top of the wing, it's also being curved upwards due to the coanda effect of the airflow following the shape of the wing. So as this air moves up, all this air above it is resistant to moving because it goes all the way up into outer space. So it creates faster flow due to conservation of energy. If the air is being squeezed down because it can't move up infinitely, it has to go faster. The energy of the airflow has to go somewhere. So we've got Coanda, we've got Bernoulli, and we've got the airflow being pushed off the back of the wing at an angle downward. Now Newton's third law says for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. So if the air is moving down, the wing must be moving up, and that's how lift is created. So what happens when we move the aileron down? Well, now the trailing edge is here, the leading edge is here, the cord line has changed angle of attack in relation to the airflow. So it's simply by moving the ailerons, we can increase the angle of attack of the wing, and if the airplane's going slow enough or already close to the critical angle of attack, we can make the airplane stall simply by moving the ailerons. But in a spin, when you move the ailerons and increase the angle of attack, you'll increase the lift on one side of the airplane, which will either make the airplane spin faster and flatter or slower and less flat and roll into the turn more. I hope that explains it.